Alright, welcome to my Avatar Skins gameplay and review. So these were supposed to come out tonight in the item shop, but they released them early this morning. So that's great news. I'm seeing mixed reactions on social media. Some people are saying they're amazing. Some people are saying they're super overpriced. Let's take a closer look. So there's three skins in total, Zuko, Katara, and Toth. So the cost of this is 3,200. So that's a pretty good deal, especially if all of these are 2,000 V-Bucks a piece. Let's just confirm that real quick. So Zuko by himself, yes, 2,000, and you do get the pickaxe included. Same thing for Katara, 2,000, and the pickaxe is included. And Toph, of course, is the same. So they're all 2,000 with the pickaxe, and then the bundle is 3,200, but you don't get the Toph skin. Now there's also an Air Flurry emote sold separately for 500. Oh, that's pretty cool. Ah, uh, that's not bad at all. So price-wise, yeah, they do seem to be a little expensive. It doesn't look like anyone has any styles or anything. So we'll just have to see if the gameplay is worth it. Now, obviously, if you're an Avatar fan, you're going to rush to these and probably buy them regardless of what I say. But if you're not an Avatar fan, are they still worth a purchase? That's what we're going to find out. So before I begin, shout out to Epic Games who did gift me all three of these skins. It was supposed to be early, but like I said, the item shop released this morning, so I didn't get any time to do a review before they came out. Regardless though, thank you so much Epic Games, I appreciate it. So here we go, we got Katara, we've got Toph, and we've got Zuko. So Zuko says, disgraced prince of the Fire Nation seeking redemption. Toph says, earthbending prodigy who invented the art of metal bending. She's also blind. And then Katara, the last waterbender of the Southern Water Tribe. So obviously Katara, waterbending, Toph, earthbending, Zuko, firebending, and Aang is airbending. So of the three, I think Zuko looks the best. That color scheme looks brilliant. I love that. Again, no one has any additional styles. What you see is what you get. So I'm going to equip the Naruto wrap here. I'm not sure it's going to fit. It might. I don't know. It's got a little bit of red and maroon in it. For glider, I'm going to use the cold burn flyer from the My Hero Academia set. Probably not the best match, but it is cell shaded. Okay, here we go. The cold burn flyer from My Hero Academia. Eh, I was kind of hoping it would go with him because I think it goes with Shoto Todoroki, who is fire and ice. It's not too bad, I guess. I just wish it was that maroon red color. Hopefully, Aang's glider goes with all these characters, but we'll find out. Okay, so the first thing to note is that the pickaxes are definitely interactable with the back bling. Now, I don't know much about Avatar, so I can't tell you anything about these blades or the back bling. But you can see there's two blades, and they both fit nicely into that sheath. So that's kind of cool. I've never seen two blades in one sheath before. So the wrap we picked, that's not too bad. But again, I'm hoping there's an actual avatar wrap in the mini battle pass. Aim down sights looks really smooth. Looks like you can see the back bling just a little bit. So if you don't like that, you can obviously take it off. But I would not because it overall suits the character quite nicely. So color scheme, really clean looking. There's just not a lot to say though. I think that's going to be the case for all three of these skins. So that might be a huge detriment to people looking for value in the 2000 V bucks that each of these do cost. It's nice that you do get the pickaxe and the back bling and that they're interactable. But does that alone make them worth 2000 V bucks? Again, it's going to depend on whether or not you truly love Avatar. For some reason, I can't see people that don't like Avatar spending that many V bucks on one of these skins or a bundle. The bundle does have a lot of value though. Again, 3200 V bucks for two skins that are normally priced 2000 V bucks. So there is value to be had there. Let's see if there's a contrail. Just a little bit, and it's not even that impressive. So how about a splash? Yeah, you got that anime splash. Again, nothing too exciting there. Let's take a look in the dark, see if anything glows. I don't think it will. The cell shaded skins do get a bit oddly bright in the dark. It's kind of like the opposite of what you would expect. Here's the contrail again. That silver color and the splash looks about the same. Very clean in terms of color scheme. Here's the Air Flurry emote. <laughs> I like the music. Not bad. So there's really not much else to say. I doubt any of these skins are going to be secretly reactive because there's nothing that can react on the skins. So next we have Toph. And for a glider, I'm just going to go with Korra's Air Glider. I think this one's going to go great with Katara as well. But for a wrap, I think the Mayhem, it's got that earthy vibe to it. So I think that's going to flow. We'll see. So here's the Korra's air glider with her. 
Yeah, I think for sure Katara's gonna look great with this one. Not the best here with Toph. So in terms of Miss Toph, I do like the color scheme. The green is just a unique color and her back bling kind of looks like a championship belt. I like that. Pickaxes look pretty good as well. Obviously they're not interactable with anything like Zuko. Colors match quite nicely. You can see how the gloves flow tremendously right into the handle of the pickaxe. Not bad. Looks like there's a little bit of contrail. It seems about the same as Zuko. Just a little after image. Let's see if there's any splash. Oh, that's about the same splash as his as well. Just that anime cell shaded puff of smoke. So she has bare feet on, and I know this drives some people crazy, but it makes a unique sound effect. So listen, I'll be quiet and turn up the volume. It's almost like a slap effect when the feet hit the ground. Like I said, some people hate that, some people love it. Let's take a look from the front here. So I do like her overall design. It looks pretty clean, in my opinion. You can see she's got that belt around her waist there. Again, the color scheme looks pretty smooth. Now, the one drawback that I found on this skin is when you aim down sights, she suffers from the ginormous cell shaded effect, in my opinion. And mostly it's due to her hair there. So this reminds me of Frieza. I love the Frieza skin, but when you aim down sights, you just look ginormous and it blocks so much. So compared to Zuko, this one is just extremely large. And again, that might not bother some people, but other people it will. Overall though, it's not that bad of an aim down sights. It's just a little larger than what you would expect. Let's take a look in the dark. Again, yes, like the other anime cell shaded skins, they get a little bit brighter. So I would say Toph is not bad, but she's one step below Zuko from what I can see. And lastly, we got Katara. So she's got that nice bluish color scheme. So like I said, at least with Katara, we've got the Korra's Air Glider as well as the Water Tribe Colors Wrap, which is going to be a perfect fit. Okay, so I'm actually surprised. In game, she looks more purple. I thought it was a bluish color. Could just be my crappy PlayStation graphics, but I swear it was a bluish color. That is definitely not blue in game. Okay. Oh, well, that makes the wrap not match as well as I thought either. Yeah, so that's definitely a purplish color, isn't it? Interesting. Well, so let's see. Her back bling does not interact with the pickaxe. Pickaxe does match quite nicely, though. This is the only skin with a ponytail as well. Kind of looks a bit strange with the ponytail and the back bling. So it looks like the animation is the Thor pickaxe animation. You see a little bit of that purplish color. Please tell me she has a splash effect. No, that is the same as all the other ones. Hmm. Well, she's already a bright color. Let's see what happens in the dark. She gets even brighter. All right, let's take a look at the contrail there. So this is the most noticeable contrail out of all three, which isn't saying much. And as you saw, the splash is exactly the same. Take a look from the front in the dark. Oh yeah, so she's a clean looking skin. Take a look at the front in the daylight. Yeah, that's not too bad. She's got some unique hair for sure. How about her aim down sight? All right, well, it's not as bad as Toph's and it's just a little bit worse than Zuko. So I honestly think Zuko may be the best character. And then I would say Katara and then Toph. As much as I like Toph, something was just off about her aim down sights. I don't know. In terms of back blings though, I'm not really feeling this one. It's just, Weird with the ponytail. I think this skin would be better suited without the back bling. But at the same time, the pickaxe matches it a little bit with that brown wrapping around the handle. I don't know. Personal preference, I think. I'm feeling like her outfit is a little glitchy. You can see how it kind of is stationary in the back but flows in the front. I don't think it's supposed to be like that. I think her outfit by far is the worst just because of all the glitching. Look at that. When you slide, it kind of plops right over your face. I don't know if it's supposed to do that either. Isn't that strange? Interesting. So are they really worth 2,000 V-Bucks a piece? I'm not entirely sold on that price, especially because there's no styles for any of them and no reactivity and no real fanfare other than their namesake. Now with that said, this is definitely the best value right here. I personally ranked Zuko as my favorite skin and then Katara. So the fact that these two are in a bundle makes it the obvious purchase for an Avatar fan. Lego skin looks pretty good as well. I forgot to show that. There's Katara. Zuko looks really cool with that color scheme. She looks pretty good as well. I think Lego did a good job with all three of these. 
So at minimum, if you wanted all these, you're gonna have to spend 5,200 V-Bucks. That's purchasing this bundle for 3,200 and then Toff for 2,000 sold separate. And then you have to tack on another 500 if you want the emote. So overall, it is very, very pricey. So like I said at the start, I think any Avatar fan will appreciate these skins and will probably be willing to spend 2,000 V-Bucks a piece on these. But if you're not an Avatar fan, I honestly think they might not be worth the purchase. If you can only get one, I highly recommend Zuko. He had the cleanest aim down sights, his color scheme looks the best, his back bling was interactable with the pickaxe, so he's got the most bang for your buck, 100%. Who knows though, maybe some rewards in the battle pass coming up this Friday will complement some of these skins and make them worth their value. But you shouldn't have to rely on other accessories to make these worth it. Now, of course, if I was a huge Avatar fan, I would probably be singing a different tune. I would say, oh yeah, these are all worth it because the show is amazing, but I just don't have that attachment, so I can't really say that. But in my personal opinion, Zuko's the best, then Katara, and then Toph. As much as I love Toph, I don't know, something was just iffy about her aim down sights and her overall character design. So let me know in the comments, what do you think about these three skins? Do you think they're worth 2,000 V-Bucks? And who is your favorite? So there you go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaperTime.